Hello, my box of conversation hearts. It's me, Kelsey from 17.com. I am here today doing a Valentine's Day themed makeup haul. Make sure that you guys hit subscribe, hit the like button, and I would just love you forever. I'm gonna start out with Too Faced because they have some of the cutest little heart-shaped items. They just love hearts at Too Faced. So this is a Sweethearts Perfect Blush. Look, how cute is that packaging? I'm just gonna pop it right open. <laughs> Look at how adorable. It's got kind of this like vintage packaging. And then when you pull it out, it's got this pretty little blush that has three different shades. Light little sheer blushes which honestly I kind of like for a blush. I feel like it's very easy to pile on too much blush. So I kind of like them to be a little bit lighter so you can build and like not have to worry about like looking like a doll. Next we're gonna do Too Faced Love Flush Blush. Cause this is 16 hour blush and the packaging on this one is also adorable. They just do such a good job. And this one kind of looks like a cute little Polly Pocket. Ah. My nostalgia is just like, welling up inside me right now. Oh, how adorable. And then the inside has this heart shape and then it has these cute little bunnies. That is crush. I love a good orange blush. This color, oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, now we're doing Too Faced Love Light Highlighter. Look at how beautiful this is. They have a few different shades too. This is my everyday highlighter actually. I'm wearing the gold one today. I love these. This is a really nice pigmented gold color and it's sort of shaped like a diamond, which I think is adorable. So Valentine's y Okay, so the last product I have from Too Faced is this super cute Mr. Right Luminizer brush. Kind of reminds of like a Barbie packaging. Like this is your little Ken doll just waiting for you to open and fall in love with him. Look, so it's just a little brush that says Mr. Right. It's got the cute little light blue shade. And then it's wearing its own little bow tie. It's actually really nice because the bow tie is removable. So when you need to, you know, get your brush cleanse on, which you should be doing after every use, even though I do not do that. Um, you can take it off and you won't ruin his little, his little squeaky bow tie. And it's really soft. All right, moving on. Next, we're gonna do a couple products from Sephora brand. So I found these really cute little makeup sponges that are shaped like Valentine's Day candy hearts. It's called the Bleeding Heart Sponge Set. And they are, have this like nice printing on the box and they're set in these little candy wrappers. They look like truffles. So it just lifts up and then you have these adorable little hearts that you can blend your makeup with. Ooh, this is gonna be satisfying. I'm gonna rip these in half. And then they're a cute little broken heart for all of you Valentine's Day haters out there. And then next from Sephora brand, we've got some little makeup brushes. They come in this cute case with a little silver action. And then it's got a little heart in the corner. Valentine's Day AF. And then when you open it up, they're all heart themed. They've got these cute little doodle hearts all over. So it comes with five different brushes. You've got a big, nice fluffy one, two bigger ones, and then you've got three little blending slash precision brushes. And let me tell you, these are mighty soft. Next, I'm going to open the Storybooks Cosmetics bag. It's really pretty for Valentine's Day. It's got little roses all over it. And the back says, what's in a name that which we call a rose by any other name would smell sweet. Good old Shakespeare. Oh. Look at these, look at these. They went totally viral for these makeup brushes. Obviously rose themed, so after Beauty and the Beast, everyone was like, oh my gosh, I need these. Look at how cool this ombre effect is. They're like dark at the base and then it gets like a fiery red at the tip. These are just so unbelievably beautiful. Will you accept this rose? Let's move on to Lush. I'm gonna start with this jumbo giant bath bomb. This thing is huge. So for reference, it's like a normal bath bomb. Oh my God, look at this. 
It's huge. You could like bubble an entire pool with this. Oh, this smells, this smells amazing. Next, we have the Love Boat Bath Bomb. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice, a very nice scent. I do that every time I, I get a Lush Bath Bomb. I have to take a full inhale to get the entire array of aromas in my nostrils. This one smells very lemony, as you can see, and it has some cute little hearts. Oh, these are tiny hearts. Oh, that's cute. Wow, way to go, Lush. That's adorable. So I would assume that maybe these would, maybe these will turn into like little confettis in your bath. That would be cute. The front of the boat is a little heart shape. I'm just gonna put this in my sock drawer so that every time I open it, I'm hit with a wave of Lush. Now I'm gonna unwrap the whole lot of love bubble bar. Ooh, this is interesting. Interesting smells happening here. It's kind of like, it looks like a macaroon. It's got this glittery gold sort of frosting looking stuff on the inside. It's cute. And it's heart shaped. And I kind of want to eat it. It's like a nice, it's got like kind of a squishy texture. I feel like it'd be really satisfying to bite into, but I'm not going to because I, I would guess that it doesn't taste satisfying. Okay, stepping away from your bath products really quick, the Kiss Lip Scrub. It's bright pink and it says it's for a sweet and flirty scrub for a soft kissable pout. Perfect for Valentine's Day. It smells like candy. And it also has those little sprinkles that were in the bath bomb. I wanna taste it. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. So we have one item left and it's the Juicy Couture Viva La Rose perfume. It's got a nice little bow and then it has this pretty little bottle with sort of gems in it. And it's just sparkly, look at that rose gold color. Oh wow. That's less sweet than I thought it would be. I kind of hate sweet perfumes and so I was kind of scared that this would be like cotton candy smelling, but it's really nice. It's sort of like a fresh, sort of floral, florally smell. Well, I guess that concludes my Valentine's Day makeup haul. I hope you guys liked it. Drop your comment below and tell me what your favorite product is. If you wanna shop them, I will make sure to drop a link in the bio so that you can purchase any of these items that you want. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please hit subscribe, please hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.